Hello, welcome to CEA's tutorial of the Apply Texas application. This is the page you'll see when you go to goapplytexas.org. If it's your first time here, you can hit get started, otherwise log in. This is your home page in the Apply Texas app. You can always get back to it by just selecting Apply Texas at the top left. You can see they have steps to completing an Apply Texas application, and then each bar drops down with more specific step-by-step -step instructions about how to go about completing your profile, starting and submitting applications. Let's start edit our profile. So this is the edit profile page. They will ask for basic information and you'll just be able to scroll through the 10 pages to fill them out bit by bit. You can also select profile pages and you'll see the breakdown of sections. Once you complete all of your profile information, you'll go to My Applications. If you've already started an application, you'll find it here. But if you're submitting a new one, you can go to the top and hit this button. So once you select which institution you want to apply to, you'll be asked for the application type and the semester, and then more choices will drop down below. You'll be able to select whether you want to apply regular decision or if the school you're applying to has an early decision two or early action deadlines, other kinds of deadlines that you can still meet, those will be available here as well. Select choices and start application. So now that we started a new application, we'll scroll down and see that it's in progress. If you want to change your major, you can select this pencil right here. If you want to change your application type, you can select there. Otherwise, you can go right into your admissions application and begin filling out information. The U.S. Freshman Questions section is just basic information, and you can select this top bar to see the different sections. The Questions Specific to Southern Methodist University section, that's where you'll find the two supplemental essays you may have heard about. Uh, reasons for applying, and then if you scroll down, you and the SMU community. If you go to the essay section, you will see the essay prompts available to you. Some schools require essays, for others they're optional. Usually at CEA we say if you have the opportunity to speak to admissions in your own voice, take advantage of that um, as long as the question isn't super niche. For example, if it's asking about um, a slip in grades or anything on your application that would raise an eyebrow and you haven't had a slip in grades or prolonged absence, then that question just simply doesn't apply to you. But questions like, do you have an identity, interest, or talent that defines you? Yeah, well, we bet you do, and we bet admissions would love to hear about it. Up at the top, we already have visited my profile, my applications. Let's check out the FAQ. So this is where you can access questions. If you have them, odds are someone else has had them in the past. So check here first to see if it's already been answered. The privacy section just goes over the information they collect and share. And then accessibility, this is where uh, you'll find the Apply Texas email address. So if you were in the FAQ, you could not find an answer to your question, come on over here, copy this email address, send them an email with your question, and they'll get back to you as soon as they can. So this is the Apply Texas application. It's pretty straightforward. We find it pretty easy to navigate, and we hope you do too.